thanks for sending me this crappy game. Coal would have been nice, or even better, a bag of poop. So thanks. Home Alone 2 on the N.E. fucking S. Now, just like in the movie, you're anywhere but home. You're lost in New York. Now, I'm really scraping the bottom of the shit barrel with this one. I mean, the first Home Alone game was so bad, why would you even bother with this one? Well, it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Now the first thing I noticed, besides of course the title screen and the strangely placed credit scroll, is that the game is actually in memory of someone. Now that's sad. So you start the game trying to escape from this hotel because they found out that you used a stolen credit card. Now you don't want to fuck with this hotel. They'll get everybody after you. Not even just the people who work there, but bouncing old ladies with umbrellas, mops. Yeah, crazy bloodthirsty mops will try to get you. Vacuum cleaners. Yeah, they'll suck you up. Then there's suitcases. Even the fucking suitcases are trying to run you over. Now another thing I noticed right away was that the sound effects are taken straight from Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Now that's common for a video game company to recycle their own sound effects, but that was a claim. And this is THQ. Damn robbers. Now nothing in the game really makes any sense. You're just running around and get the fuck off me, god damn it! And there's a guy throwing a key. Now. In the world of video games, a key is usually a good thing. You collect keys and use them to open doors, but not this game, the key kills you! Then you go into these rooms, which have absolutely no purpose whatsoever. Sometimes you can find items, some of which can be used as temporary weapons, but the main idea is that you just run to the right until you reach the end. But then what happens? Nothing. You can't go anywhere. You press the button and wait for the elevator, but it doesn't happen. Meanwhile, these suitcases keep flying at you, so you start walking to the right, but no, that doesn't work either. So, what do you do? You go back and explore the whole level, exhausting every possibility until you realize, yes, you are supposed to wait for that elevator. I end up pushing the button like a hundred fucking times, and I'm being serious. I don't know if it makes a difference, but basically, you gotta wait for that elevator. Then it starts dropping you off on random floors. You run all the way to the right again, only to be faced with the same problem. It's a dead end. So what do you do? You go left again. And when you get back to the elevator, only then can you advance to the next random floor. It doesn't make any logical fucking sense. So you're just going around dodging everything, and sometimes it's impossible to jump over people, so you really need a weapon, which you can sometimes find in these rooms, but watch out for those crazy fucking maids that throw pillows which look like bloody butcher knives missing handles. When you see the old ladies, you slide on your knees like Pete Townsend, which is probably the best part of the game. Sometimes the slide can kill things, and other times, it can't. I didn't even know it could be used as an attack until I got to the chef because that's the only way to get past him, is to slide into him. Now, of course, every time you hit him, he removes another article of clothing. Now his shirt's gone, and do I really want to do this? Oh, shit, God. Then he leaves his hat, and it turns into a pizza. Okay. There's really no consistency in this game at all. For example, most of your enemies, you can stun them and then just pass by. But this asshole, it doesn't work. You shoot him in the balls and then he still has his way. I just want to get up on those boxes so I can jump over them. But you can't. You can jump on the boxes to the right, but you can't jump on the ones on the left. I mean, what kind of fucking sense does that make? Some of the poles you can climb, and some of them you can't. Some of the potted plants you can jump on the plant itself. But other times when you're in desperate fucking need, you can't. It's like the game keeps changing the rules. Here, get up the ladder. Get up the fucking ladder. There's birds shitting all over me. Get up the fucking ladder. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah! Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. You miserable fucking cunt, you piece of shit. Shitty games all my life. Shitty fucking games. I hate shitty fucking games. And I hate shitty fucking Christmas because shitty fucking Christmas means more shitty fucking games. Humbug! Bah! Fucking humbug at the hell! Greetings and 
Forgive this intrusion, poor design, the ghost of Christmas past.